You know, as an American citizen, you know, we all kind of grow up <clears throat> with the idea that we have a Bill of Rights. <clears throat> what are the Bill of Rights? Basically, that all Americans are entitled to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, right? But they left that one thing, something that maybe we're not necessarily entitled to, but that we actually have to work. And that's your health, and that's wellness. And without your health and without your wellness, your ability to appreciate and enjoy life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness are very, very much diminished. And that's why taking care of your health is so critically important. Now, 80% of illnesses can actually be prevented with good, you know, basically good choices. And the choices are yours. And I think that it would be really contrary, almost un-American, if you actually didn't do a better job of taking good care of yourself. Now, it really is about choices. And I think what's really beautiful about the body is that the body really has no walls. And what's really good for your heart is going to be good for your skin and it's going to be good for your brain. And that's what the people at Horfag and Pycnogenol and OPC3 have actually shown. That a substance which actually has been shown in clinical studies to be good for one organ system turns out to be good for another organ system. Now, obviously everybody would like to look well, would like to look younger, would like to preserve the integrity and the beauty of their skin. Everybody's also interested in a, a really healthy heart so that you can exercise and you can pump blood to all organs in your body. And obviously it's important for your brain to work. Well, it's very interesting that the pygnogenal people, who basically have a very, very important ingredient that's in your product, okay, have actually done some really elegant clinical studies evidence-based studies to confirm and to validate that the product that they use really has value. So one thing is obviously, you know, people obviously want to have clear skin, they want to have good elasticity, they want to have good collagen. Well, in one of the clinical trials, or several of the clinical trials, they actually showed that when you take pycnogenol in, you can actually increase the substances that will make your skin look better it actually will improve the elasticity of your skin, will improve the amount of collagen in your skin, will improve the moisturizing substance in your skin called hyaluronic acid. So just from a, if you just were interested in looking well, if not just really being well, pycnogenol is a really important substance. And the studies were really done under the, under the su supervision of a very well-known uh, European and, and, and Swiss scientist. So I think he basically puts his name and his reputation behind some of the work. And I think that to actually go into the actual science of what they do, doing skin biopsying, measuring gene activity, is beyond the scope of, of, of the discussion here. But I can assure you that the papers are out there, they're peer-reviewed, and everything that we've said about Pignatra is actually true. Now what about brain function and cognition? You know, we are in a very competitive society and you need to be alert. You need to be able to pay attention, you need to focus, you need to be able to remember things, okay? And that's a really big challenge and there's no question that nutrients play a role in how the brain functions. They know the substances that are in the brain, phospholipids, certain kinds of unsaturated fatty acids, and they know that anti-inflammation and antioxidation may play a very, very important role in brain function. There are so many younger people today who are diagnosed with attention deficit disorders. Now, I am certain we're over-diagnosing this condition, but clearly there is a need for people to be more focused. They had some very good studies, very interesting studies, in which they tested people under standard scientific you know, conditions, and they showed that pycnogenol was quite helpful in improving scores. It, we're not talking about somebody who unfortunately may already have Alzheimer's or something. We're talking about healthy young people who when exposed and given pycnogenol in a laboratory setting and monitored over time had an improvement in their scores. And now, for a substance that's pretty innocuous, 
that's a pretty good, you know, study. So now we have improvement in skin and appearance, collagen, hyaluronic acid. Now we have a study that shows that, you know, brain function and even mood can be affected. Now, there are a lot of people who have irritability, anxiety. Some of it is due to the fact that maybe their brain is not functioning at the highest possible level. Pignogenol certainly would be a very important regulator, not a drug. This is, we're, not, we're not talking about a pharmacologic intervention. We're talking about a natural substance that is safe and fortunately is in your product line. Now, how about heart? You know, heart disease is still the number one killer in America. And it's really a condition that the first episode of heart disease can be sudden death or a heart attack. So oftentimes people think that they're well until something bad happens to them. Now, if something does happen to you, such as a heart attack, and if you're lucky enough to survive the heart attack, I guarantee you're going to be leaving that hospital with a lot of pharmaceuticals. Now remember, pharmaceuticals will have a positive aspect and unfortunately will carry some side effects. If you can reduce the amount of the pharmaceuticals, you're better off. I can't promise you, you can eliminate all of them, but you may be able to reduce the amount. Well, look at these studies. When you look at people who've been discharged after they've had a heart attack, look at the list of potential drugs, from aspirin to Coumadin to diuretics to blood pressure medicine called ACE inhibitors or ARBs, this beta blockers, this is the standard of care. The problem is that it's hard to prove that they've actually improved the cardiovascular function of the body. And there's one, one area that I'm really more of an expert than some of the other areas, and that's in looking at something called endothelial function. Endothelial cells line all of your blood vessels. They're the traffic cops. They determine where blood should go. So for example, when you exercise, since we have a fixed amount of blood, somebody's got to decide that it goes to your muscles or that it should, when you eat, you want it to go to your gut. And when you have sex, you know where you want that blood, right? Well, somebody's got to direct the flow, okay? And they're called the endothelial cells. So you want to be really nice to the endothelial cells, right? And so if you are really overweight, if you have a bacon cheeseburger for lunch, you get all this fat that's circulating, okay, they stun those endothelial cells, all right? So these endothelial cells, now we can actually measure in the real world how they function. And what was really interesting, when people were given, these patients were given pycnogenol and followed over several week period, and they were then retested, you can actually show an improvement in endothelial health. And we think that's a very, very important and very confirming and very validating idea. So what I try to do, this, you know, just for this short period of time, other than the fact that I love being here, is to, is to show you that the people who are studying pycnogenol are, are spending the research dollars to actually prove what they say. It'll improve your skin function. It'll improve cognitive function. It'll improve cardiovascular health. And of course, they even haven't told you that it's going to improve your joint health and other systems as well. So I think you should feel very proud of the fact that your substance, your really very critically important delivery system in your isotonics really will do a wonderful job in globally improving the overall health of your patients. And so this is really about life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I wish you all the best.